Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm really excited to show you this back to school idea and it's for either the kids or a teacher or someone, the principal. I think it's a great idea. You start with Rolo's candies and this is gonna be the shape of a pencil. This is what we're gonna make right here. And you notice it's got Hershey's Chocolate Kiss on it, and then this little tag that I made. But I'm gonna show you how to get this shape like a pencil and give you the tips and the actual dimensions. So let's go ahead and start. Before I do that, actually, these pencils are made out of the Butterfly Kisses DSP. So the Butterfly Kisses designer series paper comes in a packet of 48 sheets. So it's fun to make a lot of um, beautiful colors and bright. I love the way that these colors go together. So if you wanna make a regular pencil like this, this is Crush Curry and Polish Pink. So those are the colors I use that can get that pencil color. All right, let me go ahead and start with our Rolos right here. Actually, this one. I've already put some tear and tape around the one side. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and take this off, the one side with, from the tear and tape, and then I'm gonna do it on the cross side of it. So it's gonna make like an X on it. So you've got the one side and now we're going to go cross over it and you'll see why because it will help hold the Hershey's Kiss on to the Rolos. So I'm going to burnish this down with just my fingernails and then take my take your pick tool and just get this little edge up. It's really handy that way. Take your Hershey's Kiss and kiss the two together and you've got the start of your pencil. All right, we're gonna take this piece of crushed curry and we're gonna score, this is three and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and score this every half an inch. So I'm gonna start at the three and a half and move it to three. And I'm gonna move my cutting blade so I don't make that mistake. And because this is um, cardstock, you're gonna to want to make sure that you score pretty good in here. Now, if you're using designer series paper, you wanna make sure that your scoring is a little bit lighter so you don't tear through your paper. Okay, I'm at the one and a half mark. So we're just doing this every half an inch. And one. And I'm just gonna turn it over to this side and just do it at the half an inch right here. Okay, so we've got it scored all the way down. Now I'm gonna turn this upside down and I'm gonna put tearing tape on the one side, on the back side of what we're doing, right on the edge. And you can just tear this with your fingernail. You don't have to use scissors. Then I burnish it like so. Now I'm gonna take this and just lift it up right here. Tear that tear and tape. Now we're gonna take our Rolos right here and we're gonna start with the edge that's not the tape. But because you don't want it to be moving around, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tear and tape here just to kind of hold it in place and even just a little piece on the other side. It just kind of helps it to stay in place, even after they decide to tear it apart <laughs> to get the candy out. That take your pick tool is amazing. Let's get the edges off. Okay, so now we're gonna start on this side and we're gonna start rolling it just like the Rolos and I'm gonna go ahead and place that down and start pressing it into the adhesive. Now, you'll wanna just kind of watch to, so you can make sure 
you match up at the end with your with your marks of your scoring. Okay, so there's our pencil right there, the actual body of the pencil. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the end of the pencil the eraser. So I start actually with the end of the eraser, which will be this, as just a circle cut. And I like to take my scissors and just kind of make some little slits all the way around because I don't have an exact circle size that will fit on the end. So I'm making this work and it will roll around it. So we're just cutting that. Then I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of break down some of those fibers and make it more curved so it's easier to do what I'm going to do. Okay, next thing is I'm going to take my tear and tape again and I'm going to put it over like I did the first time on the other side. And we can go down a little bit on both sides because that's going to be covered up. And then I'll do it again once I get this side off. And the reason why you want to go ahead and do it this way is because if you just do it right here, it seems to tear off. So it, if, it has, if it goes down onto your pencil, then it seems to stay better. So we did that. This simply circles from um, this die right here. If you look at it, it's about one and a quarter of, almost one and a quarter, maybe it's one and an eighth of an inch circle. And that's what's gonna cut right here, the actual tag and the end. So it will do both. So now I'm gonna put this, and you could turn this upside down and try to get it in the center. And then you're just gonna go ahead and mold this around the edge of your pencil. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's just kind of because you're gonna have something else go down there. And we're gonna take a strip from here and we're gonna wrap it around and make our eraser. So I've already put two strips of tear and tape the tear and tape is actually, it will hold things a lot better. And so you want to make sure you use that kind of adhesive. Now this part of the eraser is three and a half inch by three fourths of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here and just curve it around from the top of the eraser and kind of tuck these edges in as I do it. You can use your fingernail to do that. And this, okay, so there's the eraser part. Love the color, that, um, that pink. Okay, now we're gonna do the silver part. And this is also three and a half inches by a half an inch. So this is gonna be the part of the pencil that looks like um, the metal that you use. So let's go ahead and take up this tear and tape again. This is silver foil paper, de designer series paper. It's a specialty paper. And I just butt up the two colors right here. I don't really overlap. You can overlap that if you want. Just kind of pull it tight. So you've got it and then you try to match it up when you come around. There you go. So there's your pencil, and I love how the silver from the Hershey's Kiss and the silver from the foil paper, it looks like a pencil. Love it. So these are fun little gifts to give somebody, a teacher in school, and I use this stamp set called the Charming Sentiments because it had just for you, but I think it also has because you totally deserve it or everything will be okay <laughs> or good luck.
So a lot of different things you can decide to put on the pencil. So that's a fun stamp set and that just for you just makes it pop. So hope you've enjoyed our video on the back to school of using a pencil as a cute gift for a teacher or for a student. If you have any questions on the products I use, there'll be links below. And so, hoping to see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.